Let's go live now to Carol Sparks, the Mayor of Glen Innes. Good morning to you, Carol. We'll start with uh, the couple of fires in and around you. We are looking at watch and act fires. Uh, as Emily just mentioned, our reporter in Foster, no emergency warnings as yet, but still a number of out of control fires where you are. Can you tell us the, the mood, what it's like? We've just heard an, uh, three people have tragically died from the bushfires and a couple in your area, unfortunately. Yes, um, it's been an absolute tragedy. Uh, the fires are, are still raging. It looks today is um, clear. The wind is already up, so but it's a bit cooler. So um, it's when those temperatures rise that uh, the real damage happens. But some of those out, out of control fires are very near us and in the Washpool National Park, which is terrible. Carol, how would you describe the mood amongst uh, the people of your town and, and your area? Oh, we are devastated. We're still reeling from the shock of it all. I went down and had a... Had a um, I was allowed to go down. The RFS took me down yesterday with my family to have a look at our, the damage that has been done on the community. Uh, the school was still um, on fire and the RFS was still there. Uh, some of the buildings had been saved, but, um, yes, there's a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of damage at my own place and it was just devastating to see it all. And uh, the people that have passed away, uh, police were down there uh, investigating the scene. And uh, yesterday afternoon... Somebody else made it to the community centre who was uh, badly burnt. So, yeah, it's just devastating. The, the animals are all lying on the ground dead. Uh, it's, just, it's just awful. And the, it's a big mess, basically. It's, it just, it's just tragic, uh, Carol. We're yeah. seeing some unbelievable scenes coming through on our screen at the moment uh, we spoke to the new south wales rural fire service commissioner yesterday shane fitzsimmons and he described the the number of fires that they were dealing with on on friday alone where we had you know the 17 emergency warnings and mm -hmm. the elevated fire danger ratings it, it, basically he was saying that uh, that it's burnt out more country than the entire fire season of last year and it certainly giving us indication, yeah. seeing on screen and hearing what you're saying. I'm sure yeah. you've, you've never seen anything like this before because that's what we're hearing yeah. from so many people. That's right. When we went down yesterday morning, uh, it was there was fires at, uh, on the way down uh, the big hill and we could see them uh, burning at the side of the road. But uh, by the time we got back, it was uh, we had a, a fire go over our vehicle. Uh, we couldn't hardly see the road. It was absolutely horrendous. So, and it was burning in, a, in an area that hasn't been um, burnt, has been quite green for many, many years. We've been there for 40 years. We've never seen it like this. Carol, sometimes in these times of, of catastrophe, you do see the might of human spirit. Some of the volunteers yes. that are leaving homes in and around yes. your areas yes. and other parts of Australia who are putting their lives on the line mm. to save others. Yes, our, our little um, group was uh, stuck down there at the worst of it on um, Saturday and Friday. And we had the Red Range Fire uh, RFS there with us. We only had two fire teams there with us. Uh, the Waitalaba Rural Fire Brigade has worked non-stop for weeks. They are just an amazing crew. And yesterday we were stuck. We had a huge tree across the road. And uh, these boys came and they cut this massive tree with a tiny... It looked like a really miniature chainsaw. And they cut through it in a matter of, you know, half an hour. They were amazing. They are just amazing people. And, and a lot of people, you, you sort of don't get the full context, do you, sometimes? Young families older people, the, the, the whole emotional toll of an episode like this? Yes, we're absolutely reeling, yeah, personally and community-wise. As a mayor, it's hard to uh, comprehend everybody's uh, particular circumstance. And I thank everybody for their uh, donations and their offers of help uh, across the whole community. Carol, so, yeah. 
Carol, it's, um, thank you so much for, for your time and we wish you and everyone affected by the fires all the very best. Uh, such a, an emotional time as you mentioned, but uh, you're all there looking after each other and uh, we wish you well for, for the future with these uh, horrible conditions that are on their way as well. Thank you. Thank you very much.